What's good everyone, it's Afro Armies Bowl. Welcome to a brand new video. Today I'm gonna to show you an instrument I've been using for a little bit now. It is called Playbox. And um, I think it's gonna be that secret sauce instrument that a lot of producers get into. It's like super, super easy to get a nice full sound from this. And like, it just sounds so organic, so rich sounding. So here is the instrument play box right here. That instrument you just watched me play through is called Armor and literally all I did was hit one note on my keyboard. All right, so when I hit that one note on my keyboard, it's gonna generate a chord. Within that chord is multiple notes and each note plays back a different sample. And that's what makes Playbox so unique, unlike anything I've used in the past. Now, each sample is represented by this NFT looking cube image, and they're not random. Each one represents a different type of sound. I know it sounds all confusing, but uh, you'll understand everything in a moment. Let's just start with the general layout of Playbox. So over on the top left-hand corner right here is your preset selection. If you just tap on a preset name, you get a quick preview. And if you like it, you could just double click it. And then of course you can go ahead and play it. Throughout the entire instrument, you're gonna see all these dice here. And this just quickly randomizes that section. So if you just wanna click it, you get a randomized sound, preset, chord set, sample set. There's dices everywhere. Just know that those dice means to randomize things within Playbox. Over on the top right hand corner is your scale selection any major or minor scale, you can change your chord sets to match the scale that your song is in or vice versa. You can also lock your scale. So any preset that you change to will be locked to the D major scale in this case. So right here is those samples found in your chord. We'll get more into that in a second. Over here is an XY pad that is tied to some of the effects in the effects tab or your macro controls over here. Over here is a button. If you wanna see what your sound sounds like on halftime, you can go ahead and do that. And your volume of your sound right over here. Over on the bottom, you have three tabs, your chord set, your chord tab, your sample tab, and your effects tab. Your effects tab is essentially all of your effects on top of your sound. So if you wanna adjust anything, add effects, it can all be done here. Assign anything to the XY pad can be done in here as well. The chord tab is where all the magic happens. If I hit one note on my keyboard, for instance, C, it is tied to this chord right over here. So the chords are stretched out across all the white keys from C to C. You could shuffle the chords, so basically change up the chords a little bit. You could change the notes within the chords. If you want to figure out what these chords are, or want to quickly translate it to other instruments in your session, you can just take this over here, drag it into your DAW or into your timeline. I'm just going to not import the tempo. And this gives you the entire chord set in a MIDI file. So you can go ahead and use those files, those notes to build out your song from there. Now, if I bring up the preset browser for the chord sets, this is where you can change up your chords through presets. So you got simple chords, extended chords, complex chords, unison chords, and your own custom user chords. So if I go to extended chords, I could pick a preset for a chord set. So let's click this moist August here. Or I can change that up quickly. Let's go to a complex chord. You'll see there's gonna be no, more notes in the chord. Right. So that's your chord tab. Your samples tab is where you're gonna find all of the sounds that built up your chord. So as I said early on in the video, each note plays back a different sample and that is represented by that NFT looking image. So this bubbly looking cube are voices. This green looking cube is synths. This purple gold black cube is bass. 
And uh, we can go ahead and change out this synth to an instrument here. You'll see what that one looks like. It looks like, oh, it was right here, this Lego looking thing. And you also have noise, which is this fuzzy looking cube. I can hit this randomized dice right here to change up the samples from our synth library. Or I can click this dice over here to globally change all of the samples within their category. All right, now let's go ahead and put together reviews and play box. We also have this halftime button here if you wanted to see what it sounds like halftime. It's kind of cool. It sounds like a slow sort of in my feelings type of beat with not a lot of drums. Maybe we can do something like that, do something different here. Uh, let's go to 135 and let's go ahead and record something. All right, next up, what we're gonna do here is gonna duplicate this track. And um, what we're gonna do now is just make sure that we lock up our chord set, or sorry, our scale here. And I'm gonna also lock up our chords so that it doesn't change the type of chords that we're playing. So I can... So I can go ahead and play the same notes that I played before, no matter what preset I use, right? So now I'm changing presets and it's not changing up my scale or my chord set. Well, that kind of sounds cool together. So let's do that. I'm going to go over to my drum kits and I'm going to bring in um, the 2022 kit. We'll go to the latest uh, expansion that we just dropped yesterday. And let's bring in this perk sound. Go to Drum Machine Designer, and let's put that in on the three. Let's see if we speed this up a bit. Let's just do this for now. Just mess up the hi-hats a bit here. Take this. We'll kind of do this like an ethereal type of sound. Uh, let's take this flanged up open hat. And we'll 
take this one over here, drag that, drag that over here. And so I don't really know what notes are played in that chord if I want to get that root note. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to open up contact and I'm going to go over to my chords over here. Now I can drag the entire chord set over, but I'm only using two chords so I can just watch what's playing here. So going from a D to a G. So if I go to my bass here, my 808. Right, so now I know which notes I can play here for my bass notes. All right, so let's go ahead and just drop that down. All right, that's gonna go back to my expansion kits here. I'm gonna go to the third. I take this effects right over here. I'm gonna bring it on top of my rim shot here. Except I'm gonna do it on every other one. I'm gonna take these two sounds together. I'm just gonna bounce it. Let's go Control B. Bounce that in place. And we're gonna try and reverse it and see what type of sound we get here. Maybe we can use that as a switch up. We'll cut it up on the ones. Let's reverse that. All right, so uh, fast forward a little bit, my uh, recording stopped and I didn't realize it till the end. Ah, it always happens every now and then, a little frustrating, but it is what it is. So everything's pretty much the same, just pieces here and there throughout the arrangement. So sit back, relax and enjoy. This is the beat that we just put together. Let's go. Sorry you didn't see the arrangement, but here it is. All right, so right there is the beat that we used using Playbox. Once again, I will place a link to the instrument Playbox down in the description box below this video. Keep in mind, if you are subscribed to Complete Now, this is included in that subscription bundle. If you have any questions on this or just want to chat, we can go ahead and talk in the comment section below. But other than that, I hope you enjoyed this video. And as usual, I'll catch you on the next one. Later.